for Star Lord's eyes, um, here's what I found worked. It, it looks pretty close to how I think the the movie one would work. But essentially, there's four layers of material and then a casing. So this is the sort of socket, I guess you could call it. This this goes in into the eye. Um, here I'll show you guys. So that kind of goes into that right there. This kind of just fits inside there. Um, and then there's a blue tinted layer right here. Uh, so that when the red LEDs are on, you're not seeing red all the time and it kind of just makes it like a pair of sunglasses. And then um, a layer of mesh, you can see, to kind of give it that texture. That's what the movie one had. And then I also just put a piece of clear plastic over. Uh, over the front of it. So for the clear plastic, um, use uh, pet G sheets. Uh, that that should work. Uh, but you can use any plastic that you have lying around. But I'll leave. I'll try and leave a link for something you could use in the description. I'll also leave a link for where I got that. Or if you really wanted to, uh, you could use a red tint over the front, uh, which it does look good. But at the same time, it makes it a lot harder to see. I found so I don't really recommend doing that. Essentially, how you construct this is you get blue, blue on the back, and then you put, um, you thread the, the LED strip through this, and then you kind of just stick it down or glue it to um, the ring. Let me see if we can get that kind of looking good. There we go. So yeah, you can see then it's all kind of flush with the ring and you can't really, you, you can see it when the lights are on, but it's not that big of a deal. The movie when you could see the, the LEDs as well. So I think it looks really cool. And it gives you that really nice glowing eye effect. One thing I forgot to mention is that to get the mesh look, I used this mesh tape. Now I originally used it because I thought I was being clever. And when I cut out this mesh, it has an adhesive backing. I thought I could just stick it right on to the plastic. I could go like that. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. And the glue adhesive backing that they use is, um, it's pretty, it's pretty like fogged, I guess you could say, when it's on the, the plastic part. Um, so what I did is I just cut out a circle and then I, you can peel off the backing, like the, or the, just the adhesive part. And so I just glued it straight to the to the um the socket and then the battery pack just goes in the, where, where your chin rests and you can kind of tuck the wires away i gotta figure out how to kind of attach these wires to the face plate make sure they're not in my face but yeah so there's the helmet there's how it looks when it's on and yeah i think that looks really cool for the batteries um i use this uh, i think it's about three volts uh, battery pack it takes two triple a's and you essentially just put these wires into either this or the um the splitter so you essentially just put these in line up the red and the black one wires don't worry about the white wire you line up those two whoops wrong side and you put that in there and you can kind of just like tape it uh, that's what I did for mine. You just put those in there and then you can electrical tape it like that. And you should be good to go. Here's one more look at the inside where you can really see. So here's the wires. Um, here's the wires for the um, focus. There we go. Here are the wires that connect to the eyes. And then right here is where the battery pack and that splitter join. And you kind of, you can see, I kind of just taped it together. There are probably much fancier methods of doing this, but that works just fine for me. And then when you switch it on, see the LEDs in there, light up. So that's pretty much it, guys. As you can see, it's not really a difficult thing to make, and it really improves the look of your helmet overall. 
Uh, the keys are to make sure you have that blue filter behind the eyes, as well as it's an added bonus to be able to press fit them into your helmet in case you need any maintenance. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed.